Let's learn how to automate the extraction of Prochet's artist data from SAP with Power Automate Desktop. So I've already created a flow that starts SAP logon and does login into SAP. So I'll just run the test if it's working. So if you want to learn how to set up that part, make sure you watch the tutorial that will appear now on the top. So here you can see that SAP logon was started and now we'll be done the login into SAP. So now the next step is to execute the transaction SC16N that allows us to manage and view SAP tables data. So to execute the transaction here on PowerMe Desktop, let's use the action start SAP transaction. And here we just have to indicate the transaction code to execute. Let's save. And now to be able to test more quickly, so to don't run everything from the beginning, so start SAP logon and do login into SAP, let's comment here the launch SAP action. And now we are getting an error because the SAP instance variable is not initialized. Solve this very easily. We can just use the tash action from SAP automation. And so here, basically a tash mode foreground or last activated as we are just using one SAP instance. And by this way, we have solved the error. So let's see how it's working. So let's run. And here we can see that it works. So now we are here on this screen from where we have to indicate the table. So the table for the purchase orders, headers, data, it's he, key, key, o. So this is the table that we have to search. So to fill here on this input field, we can either use the populate text field in window or use the dedicated activity for SAP, populate SAP text field element. So let's just use this one. So here we have to basically dedicate the element ID or just select the SAP element. So let's use this one. It's easier to set up. So let's indicate here this field. And now the text to fill in. So the text to fill in, it's he, key, key, o. And let's save. So that's it. So after fill indicating the table, uh, we have to execute by clicking here or this button or sending the F8 key. So for clicking, we can either use the click while helmet in window or the specific activity to click on SCP helmets. So let's use that one. So here, the element type, we can see here some helmets such as checkbox, label, dropdown, or basic SAP helmet. So in this case, it's a basic SAP helmet. And now here we can set up, indicate the element, either by manually indicating the element ID or more easier, indicating the SAP helmet. So let's indicate it and let's save. So let's see how it's working. So for now, let's just comment here the start SAP transaction so we don't have to go back. So let's disable these actions just for now. And let's run. So here we can see it worked well, so was filled the table, was executed, and now we got here this pop-up that might appear on your site or not. So if it does appear, let's have the validation to check if the pop-up appears, and if it's the case, we will close it. So uh, for that, we can use the action if window contains, and so if specific while helmet appears on the window, so in this case, the pop-up, let's, uh, so here now, map the Y helmet, check if it appears. So this uh, pop-up. And let's save. So if appears this pop-up, let's close it with a click, SAP Y helmet. So here, let's indicate this button. And let's save. So let's see if it's working now. So I'll just close here the pop-up, go back and let's run again. 
So here you can see the pop-up. So now the click should be done. And here you can see that it works. So the pop-up disappeared. And now here we can see the table data. So uh, from here we can export the data to a spreadsheet or else we can just export to a local file with no format or with a specific format. So here we can see local file and here we can see some of the options available. So let's use this one, for example. You can, for example, also use the spreadsheets. So for that, if we try to use the click SAP UI helmet, we will see that it will not work basically. So you can see that we aren't able to select a specific button here. It detects here the wall, uh, basically the wall frame, this, this basically this element, this container that we can see. Are you ready to master SAP automation with platforms like YPath, Power Automate, Automation Anywhere, Blue Prism, and even Python? In my upcoming courses, you'll get hands-on experience and real SAP access so you can practice everything you learn. Free access to SAP is impossible to get as far as I'm aware, but I'll got you covered on my courses. And I'm about to launch these SAP automation courses anytime soon. Subscribe via the link below in the description or in the comments to stay tuned and be the first to know when these courses go live. So let's just use the click Y helmet from Y automation. So here, let's map the Y helmet. So it's uh, this one. Let's save. So after clicking on the bus, we need to do another click to click so on the local file option. So let's map so the element. So now let's indicate the option. So first let's click here. And now let's uh, press control uh, button and then do the left click here on local file. Save. And let's see if it's working. So I'll just go back to the previous screen and run the flow and it's working so now we are here on this pop-up so now we have to select the format in which we want to save uh, the generated export so let's choose and convert it and then uh, press here this button so we can use the action from SAP here so here let's use the click SAP Y helmet and so here, element type, it's a basic SAP helm. And now here, let's select on converter to make sure it's always this option, the one that will be selected. Let's save. And then we have to click here on this button. So for that, we can use the click SAP Y helmet also. So here, basic SAP helmet. And let's indicate the button. Let's save. And let's just simulate, so to see what will appear next. So we click here, and then we have to set the directory. So to keep it simple, let's leave the default one that appears, a field. So we just have to then set the file name. So to set the file name, we can use the populate SAP text field helmet. And now here, select SAP helmet. And so the text to fill in, so just for this demo, let's define it purchase orders.txt. And that's it. So then we just have to click on the generate button. So for that, let's use another click SAP Y helmet. Let's indicate the generate button. And let's save. And let's see how it's working, everything from the beginning. So I will enable the start SAP transaction and launch SAP. And now I'll remove the attach action. And so let's close SAP and let's run our flow. So let's start it. So SAP logon will be started and now we'll be done the login into SAP. Transaction executed, pop-up is being handled. And so we can see the table was filled properly. 
And so now we will go to export uh, to local file. And here you can see that the file was generated successfully. So if we go to the directory, the default directory where was saved the file, here we can see the file that was generated that basically has the purchase orders data. So that's it for this tutorial. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up and now subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications bell so you don't miss any tutorial released here on the channel.